I got some experience that I'd like to share with you guys. Now, I am not all knowing, unfortunately. I'm not, I think it's hard to believe, but I'm not all knowing. So the things I say may not be applicable. You know, um, can't say the word, but that's cool. Great. Let's start over. Applicable. Everybody, Kevin Moses here, your certified strength and conditioning specialist and owner of Pure Motion Fitness here in San Diego. I have been in the business over 20 years, and I thought today I'd just share some tips for trainers how to improve their business, how to improve their expertise. Now, you know, I've been in this for 20 years, like I just said, and I am still learning. There is just endless amounts to learn in this business, and I think that's why I love it so much because I always want to be challenged and stimulated in that arena. And it's just great, you know, like my past five years, I've been deeply involved in nutrition, and learning as much as I can. But for you trainers out there that maybe you're just starting off or just, you know, how do I even get a business? Well, my number one, you know, is referrals. Obviously, referrals is the best source. And how you ask for referrals is that important. And there's a book out there called Referral of a Lifetime. Get that book, probably 10 bucks, maybe it's probably even a couple pennies off of Amazon. Go on there and purchase it. It'll kind of teach you how to ask for referrals. Because in this business, that's huge. You know, if a client is happy with their, their service that you're providing, they should want to get you business. I mean, being a trainer is not easy. We have split schedules. We're in the morning, got off in the afternoon, coming back at night. It's long, long hours. Sometimes it can really, you know, get us low energy and fatigue. So I know about getting clients, and that's not always the easiest thing. So Asking for referrals is big. Also, networking. I can't stress this enough. I would not be an owner at Pure Motion if I didn't network. And I joined a company called BNI. Not saying that you have to join this group, but it's all over. It's actually a worldwide company. It's a referral networking program where you meet once a week for breakfast. Everybody's profession is pretty much offered in that chapter, I would say. You know, there's lawyers, attorneys, I mean, not attorneys, but lawyers and attorneys, um, a real estate loan, handyman, a roofer, you get the point. Endless amounts of professions in that business. And they're all looking for the, you know, as you know, your, your, your business, maybe their wife is looking. I mean, you just never know. So I built my clientele up to a good point just with that group. And now in t in, in, involved in that group, you always want to kind of even go more specific. So you may want like to go massage therapist because those people are clients of yours, acupuncture, chiropractor has been one of my best okay definitely a great source of referrals and leads getting in touch and getting you know with a chiropractor and not just go up and introduce yourself and say hey let's exchange referrals but really get to know that person you know use their service trade services because the more that you know about them the more that you can you know tell your hey your, your clients complaining about lower back and you've never been able to help them well, maybe they should go see a chiropractor. Now you have somebody in that thing, you know, in that in that industry that you trust, give them the referral, and they're going to be so happy that you gave that referral. That guess what's going to happen? Next time somebody mentions I want a trainer, well, guess what? I know Kevin. He's a great trainer. Talk to him about Pure Motion. That's how that works. B and I is always givers gain. They call it, and the more you give, the more you get back. Um, Obviously, you know, another tip for trainers is education, learning as much as you can. But in today's world, getting the results is, to me, is hugely a part of nutrition. So they say maybe 70% nutrition, 80% nutrition. I think it's even higher than that. You know, exercise is great. Don't get me wrong. It helps me stay sane, believe it or not. I don't even do it for the looks anymore. When I was you know, younger, maybe you're bodybuilding, trying to look all better for everybody. But now it's just a mental attitude going in, getting the workout in, but, you know, really getting yourself educated on that nutritional component. So there's some great certifications out there. I'm a functional diagnostic nutritionist. So what really got me into that is I can use, I can work with a lab like BioHealth or Great Plains, those are the labs I work with, get some results on that client and say, wow, look over here, you got food sensitivities, or you have a digestive issue, your liver is sluggish. Being a trainer was great, but I can remember working at, like, say, 24 Fitness and giving them a, a menu plan that everybody else got, and the results weren't happening. And I get so frustrated, like, they're cheating, they're eating on their off hours or the at nighttime, sugar, donuts, whatever they're doing. And they were like, no, no, I'm not, I'm following everything you said. And they're so frustrated 
that they weren't getting the results. Well, now with the nutrition, there's so many things out there that you can follow an elimination diet, maybe taking a few supplements, even a probiotic, making people more frequent in their movements, their bowel movements. I mean, I know that's maybe a funny topic, but that's huge. Somebody comes to me, they're constipated for seven days, three days, four days, whatever it is. Guess what? They're not eliminating waste. They're not going to lose weight. I mean, come on. It's, it's, you know, let's think about that. So those are some great tips, I think, to start off with, you know, asking for referrals, networking, and nutrition. At nutrition, even getting a little certification is going to bump up your clientele. They're going to be seeking you out, looking at that. I think those are some great, you know, top three tips for improving your uh, personal training business. So you got any questions, shoot me over an email and we'll help you out. Take care.